I see it. There's a message. I can see and hear you, but don't have a microphone. Okay, beautiful. So I know that you're there. Welcome, Joan, and welcome everybody else that's going to do the videos. So I know that Jude, I know that you're doing them. I know Mark, you're doing them as well. And maybe Rhonda might do the video later as well. So it's lovely to feel your energy and to know that you're there. What we're going to need today is your sticky mat if you've got one at home or something that you know that you're safe and not going to slip on. You're going to need maybe a block. I would suggest having a block or a book if you don't have a block. And a strap if you've all got a strap or a belt or a towel or a scarf. And while you're all kind of moving around getting, getting those things, it would be helpful to have a wall space, but not essential. Okay, so the wall space is going to be later on for a bit of a downward dog on the wall. Okay, so a bit of a downward dog and also maybe a little bit of a forward fold against the wall with our back to the wall. So I don't know if I can show you, but this, it's sort of like this. A fold forward with our back to the wall. Whoopsie. A fold forward with our back to the wall. That was a bit messy, but I wanted to show you from the side. Um, okay. I can't check in with you all because I can't hear you, so let's all set our intentions together in our heart and mind. And I'm going to begin by grounding us with a, a welcoming and something for ourselves, but also in the bigger picture. So, maybe one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, if, if your shoulders allow. Take a deep breath in. And a complete breath out. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. The words I'm about to read are not my own words. Uh, they're actually anonymous. I'm not sure exactly who wrote these, but they're a beautiful way to start. So if you would like to just ground in your feet and I'll read you the words. This morning, may we all renew our intention. May we aim higher and believe in ourselves and each other. And let us all remember that each time we practice yoga, we help to heal not only ourselves, but our entire community. May we be a breath of life to the body of humanity. And I honour whoever wrote those words. And I want to add to that, in the light of the breath of life to the body of humanity. May we have in our mind throughout the class a bit of a visual, a vision, that maybe one day we will see ourselves living in a world with clean air, living in a world with clean oceans and Areas that are filled with beautiful trees, homes for animals, in a world where there's no suffering for animals or nature or people, unnecessary suffering. In a world with warm hearts, evolving minds, lots of love and support. And that even when there is no suffering which is healthy and helps us to grow, we have a greater trust in that process. So we're going to begin to now hear our practice with alternate nostril breath. So what I'd like you to do is take your right hand, it looks like my left, I'm doing the same as you, two piece fingers here between the eyebrows, very lightly. 
We're going to use our right thumb to block just above the right nostril flare and our right ring finger and middle finger will block the left nostril. We're only going to block one at a time. So for a start, very lightly block just above your right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through your left nostril. Lock your left nostril and breathe out through your right. Breathe in right nostril. Breathe out left nostril. Making the breath really gentle and subtle. Completely breathe out. Breathe out a little bit more. Breathe in, left. Breathe out, right. Breathe in, right. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, left. And now hold your breath. Block left. Breathe out right. Breathe in, right. Hold your breath. Block right, breathe out left. Relax the hand, palms up. Take a deep breath in through both nostrils. Hold again. Breathe out completely. Breathing naturally. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice how maybe you feel the energy in the palms of the hands or in the soles of the feet. And gently open the eyes if they've been closed. Can we clasp the fingers here? On the inhalation, we're going to turn the palms away, face out. Inhale, ground down through your sitting bones, scoop your arms, breathe all the way up. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, reach up, ground down through your sitting bones. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, reach up, ground down. Exhale, release the hands down. And draw the hands back to the heart. Do that again two more times. Inhale, scoop, ground down, reach up. Exhale, side bend, lift. Inhale, reach, ground down, reach tall. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, ground down, reach tall. Exhale, round, scoop, bring hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, round and reach. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Hands to heart.
Beautiful. Release the arms down. Give yourself a little bit of a wiggle and a shake here. We're going to begin some swimming shoulders, but we're going to do it sitting down. So imagine our shoulders are swimming. We're going to let the whole body kind of move with this movement. So begin to alternate your shoulders forward. Imagine the pedals on a bike, like you're riding a bike with your shoulders. It's called swimming shoulders, or I like to look at it more as riding a bike. So begin to also let your spine kind of move with this. Let your hands slide on your legs and let your neck kind of just kind of start to roll as well. Without overdoing it, just let it be natural. Let it follow natural. Nice. Okay, pause, go backwards. Take a moment to, to adjust everything else. Again, feeling which muscles in the neck when they want to shorten, when they want to rotate, and let it all be organic without forcing anything. I'm also kind of moving my bottom, alternating my bottom on a chair as well. So let everything kind of flow in with each other. The spine kind of does this. Make it organic and playful. Pause. Take a moment to pause in the center. Now we're going to do like many butterfly strokes, both shoulders forward this time. Bring it in the pelvis as well, forward back, and it will, it will wave the spine, which will help with the shoulders forward and back. It looks like this. So, shoulders forward, shoulders back. Now, as my, as my shoulders come forward, my pelvis is actually tilting under, and it goes the other way. Don't worry too much about the pelvis. Let it happen naturally. Just let the shoulders swim forward and back. And feel the whole movement wave in the spine. Let your head come to. You might want to breathe in when you roll the shoulders back. When you swim them forward, breathe out. Two more like this. One more. And just take an easy movement. Lovely. Okay, strap time. Can you pick your strap up for me? Oh, actually, before we do, just lay your strap over your knee for a moment or whatever you're using. And we're going to take those hands, clasp your, clasp your fist very gently, very softly. Exhale as we draw back. Inhale as we open out to that star fingers. Inhale here. <laughs> exhale, draw back. And it's a forceful exhale. Like a fast. Ready? Two more. One more. Take a moment to close your eyes. Feel what's going on in there. Hmm. It should feel nice. Okay, we're going to take our buckle of our strap into right hand or left hand. Take our, our arms a little wider. As we inhale, raise the arms up. Just take this to where your shoulders allow. And exhale, down thumb. Inhale up. A little bit further back each time, just according to what your body needs are. Exhale, down. This time, if we want to come behind the head, inhale up. And maybe an exhale back. Inhale up, and what you may be finding if you've got a weakness, you're kind of pulling one up. That's okay, as long as you're not pushing past any injury. Exhale down, and it's fine to just come to here and keep going. Inhale up, and exhale down front. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, relaxing the neck and the shoulders. Exhale down. Inhale up. And this time, maybe shortening your grip a little, and we're going to play. Okay, so ground down through your sitting bones and begin to just induce maybe a little bit of rotation, a little side bend, make it slow. And if there's points that feel really nice, hold there. 
Closing your eyes and going by feel. Remember, don't be in a hurry to rush out of anywhere. Find those little sweet spots and just balance there for a bit. Listen to the ways that your two arms communicate with each other. Few little clicks and clunks like I just did. Okay, releasing, roll the shoulders. Okay, we're going to use the strap again and go on arms. We've done this before, but not for a while. So please place your strap over your left, oh, it looks like your right shoulder, but um, over one of your shoulders. Actually, do it over your right shoulder. Do it over your right shoulder. Now, your right arm, take it out to the side. Turn your thumb down. Reach behind your back and grab the lower part of your strap. Your left arm, take your left arm out. Thumb up. Reach behind your head to the top part of your strap. And so what you're doing here is you're walking your hands toward each other. Okay, and walk your upper arms in toward your head. Here we want a lift of the chest, a spreading of the sternum, but a hugging in through that left arm. Now inhale here, we're going to sit down through the tailbones, reach up, give yourself a lift in through your spine, and exhale round a little. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Now, sitting yourself back up, we actually want to let the hands go quite quick, but I'm aware that if we do that, our hand may hit the back of the chair. So walk your bottom forward. And when we let go, I'll show you, Especially the top one, let that just kind of drop really quickly without hitting your hand on your chair at all. Normally we do this standing, seated with nothing around us. Okay, I hope everyone's good with that. Let's change sides. So take your strap to the left shoulder or the other shoulder. This time your left arm turns down. Reach behind your back for the lower part of your strap. Right arm, palm up. Reach behind your head for the top part of your strap and begin to work those hands toward one another and the arms in toward the center. Inhale, lift your chest, ground your sitting bones. Exhale, round, drop the belly back a little. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, sitting up, getting ready, and let go as quickly as you safely can. Nice work. So uh, let's take the strap uh, down to the side here. And we're going to take a little swivel here in the hips. Okay, so cut, wiggle to the edge of your chair, just to the point where you're safe. Grab hold of the back of the chair and start to swivel our hips from side to side. Now hold here on one side, drop that knee, the front knee here, down toward the floor, scoop that tailbone under. Reach the same arm all the way up and maybe we'll do little circles here of the arm. Lovely. Holding still. 
swivel around and let's come to drop the other leg down. Scoop the top and under as you do that. Let's swoop that arm all the way up and start back straightening those circles with the arm. Last one. Hold just for a breath. Exhale, release. Swivel back to the center. Walk in the bottom a little bit more forward here. And again, just starting a little bit of a windshield wiper this time. So it's a little bit different. Your feet are as wide as your mat and we're just kind of rotating a little in here. We're not pivoting. We're just kind of rolling the hip internal external, just kind of rolling it in the joint here. Right, holding still, let's lift the, your right leg, hug it into your chest. Maybe now let's turn so that we let the, let the knee drop out and we hold the right foot. We're going to start to maybe rock the baby. This one's for Jude, her, her um, suggestion. So we can thank Jude for this one. I want to give that hip that rotation. Remember in the ball and socket joint, so if this is my pelvis on this side, my acetabulum here, and the femur here sits in, we're doing this. We're just kind of working out some of those little adhesions there. We're lubricating the capsule with that beautiful synovial fluid. We're giving the ligaments a little bit of movement here closer into the joint. So gently, gently does it. Hug, move slowly, visualize. The reason why I show you the visual is so you can visualize. Um, my knee doesn't like that being bent too much, so be mindful about that. I think I'll flex my ankle a little bit. You can cross that foot on the knee and just gently nudge the hip down and then up, down and then up. Hug knee into your chest, open knee wide. Even maybe, if you wish, if that's available to you, come on into a sort of an archer, bow and arrow sort of a thing. And a seated happy baby almost, seated half happy baby. Only if it's available to your hip. Play with this. Listen to make sure that movement's natural for you. Practice straightening the leg if you wish. I know that some of you are really, really able to do this. So practice taking it across the midline of your body here. This feels really nice. Maybe practice opening it a little here. Maybe practice leaning forward a little here. It's almost like we've got the arch now, the bow and arrow arch here. Okay, bend the knee again. We're going to cross that leg and place it on top of the opposite thigh. Resting our elbows lightly on the inside. Take a big breath in, flatten your back, arch up, and then exhale, fold, and just kind of hang out here for a bit. You should be feeling that in that hip here of the cross leg, maybe your right leg if that's what you've crossed. Let's hang out here for a bit. Softly raising all the way up. Lift the leg, take it around to the center. One more hug, give it a kiss, and lower it down. Take a moment there now to see how differently that feels when you do this movement. That's way different in my leg. I'm not sure if you're noticing that in your own, but wow, that's a huge difference. I'm going to do this side now. So let's take the other knee, hug it, give it a kiss, take the 
foot and let's start to do gentle rocking the baby. Different movements of this hip joint. Maybe take the hand around and maybe start to draw the leg back into that half happy baby. Open the knee wide, sort of giving little tiny pumps back into the hip joint. Maybe straightening the leg. Maybe taking it across the midline. Maybe folding forward a little. back up, bending the knee again and taking it on top of the other leg. When you're ready, elbows on the inside, lifting up with your spine, ground down with your tailbone, exhale, fold. Let's hang out here for a bit. Slowly raising up, taking the leg, bringing it to the midline, one last little twist here, lower it down, again start to feel the difference, taking the knees a little wider, rolling in, open, wow, that is so amazing, hey, alternate windshield wipers here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, we're going to take it to standing. Um, before you do, take the block in your hand while you see it here. Uh, ground down through your feet, lean the body weight forward, and sitting all the way up. Take a uh, chair just to your side for now. Coming forward to the front of your mat, and we're going to place that block between the thighs. Okay, squeeze it nice and firmly between those thighs. And we've got a little bit of a chair, po chair pose challenge, I guess you could say. It's a bit of a challenge, especially because I've just been doing a little bit of that in the, in the class before. So hopefully you guys legs are ready. So tap, 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 tap. Are you ready? You're gonna inhale those arms up alongside you, draw the shoulder blades back and down your back. Then sit your bottom back as you exhale, sit down. Inhale here, open one arm to the side, exhale back to the front. Inhale, open the other arm out to the side, exhale back. Inhale, arms up, and now exhale, fold. Keep your knees bent if you need support for your back. Inhale back to chair pose. Inhale here, and exhale, swim to the surface. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, open one side. Exhale, come up. Inhale, open the other side. Exhale, come back. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, dive back up. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, arms up. Ooh. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. And exhale, dive up. 
Take a moment to breathe here. Gently removing the block and let's take it uh, down beside you so you stand on it with the foot that's closest to your chair. Now we've done a little bit of hip work already so we'll only just do a little bit of these pendulums. So hands on your hip and just let that leg just kind of swing. Try not to do it too fast, you don't want to cause any panic in your lower back. It's just a gentle, almost traction swing here. That's it. Right, can you turn that foot out and take it into a little tree pose? Or you may want to take it into a full tree pose. Now, how's your balance today? I can't see you, so I don't know. You can tell me online, you can text me. Hands to your heart, whoa. Remember, steady yourself if you need to. Keep your breath deep down to your belly. Still visualize your roots going through the block into the earth. Hands feeling that connection with your heart. Beautiful. Inhale here. Softly release. Disconnect your foot. Release. Uh, maybe after the tree, just give a little more of a swing or even like a little gentle opening here or you can keep the legs straight and just do a little opening here in that hip massage it rub rub step down take your chair to the other side this time your block is on the, the foot you've just had up come on up steady yourself with a secure footing and little pendulum swings here of the hip not too high. Really be careful with the back one when you when you swing back. You don't want to go too fast. Okay, come into a pause. Come in, externally rotate that hip. Come to your tree pose of your choice today. Stay here, even just a half a hand to the heart if that's good. But if not, find your drishti. Hands to your heart. If you want to try your hand at a big balance here, beautiful. Well, I can't really see you, but I'm just assuming you look beautiful. Whichever level you're doing right now. See, I'm just about to topple out. <laughs> and again, breathe to your belly. So the connection of your hand at your heart, float your hands down, lower your leg, take a little, little pendulum swing or a little internal external rotation and let's come to step down now, placing the blocks to the side. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure how well you can see me. The options here are to place your chair on your sticky mat if you're going to use the chair. If you've got a wall, then I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to visualize that this is my wall here. So basically my hands are flat here at the wall, just like we would do on our bench at the center. And we're going to do a downward facing dog on the wall, okay? Or if you don't want to use a wall, we're going to take it to our chair. Ground down somewhere steady on the chair. Walk your feet back, draw your bottom back. So this is chair dog or wall dog. Uh, I'll stand here. I think you can still see here. Wall dog, start high first. Walk your feet back and then gradually walk your hands down to the point where you feel like the down dog is good for you. So, rotating the shoulder blades around the back, allow your, sh uh, your mid shoulders to drop through your arms a little, not too far, just enough. Fingers are wide, still press down 10 fingers into the wall, or chair. 
draw the bottom tailbone back. Now inhale here, look up, exhale, draw back. Inhale, look up, exhale, draw back. Now as you exhale and draw back, also pull your pelvic floor muscles up. So Mula Bandha, remember? Pull that up to support the back and really activate the lower belly. Now inhale, look up. I'd like you to step your left foot forward. Turn your back foot out a little. Bend into the front knee. And I'll use my chair here to show you. So here, bend into the front knee. We're setting up for warrior one. Push through the outside edge of the back foot. Bend deeply into the front knee. Hug both thighs into the midline. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades back. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw down. Keep going. Inhale, reach up. Now this time, exhale. Hands to the chair or to the wall. Step back. Downward facing dog. Straighten the feet. Reach long with the side body. Draw the tailbone back. It does feel a little more secure on your chair, I have to say. The wall's helpful, um, but the chair's beautiful. Inhale, look up. This time, step the right foot forward. Turn the back foot out slightly. Bend deeply into the front leg. And inhale, back up to your warrior one. Exhale, down with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, fold, step back. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, ground down through your feet, step, step to the front, inhale, breathe all the way up, exhale, hands to your heart. Let's repeat that now, but we'll do it through sun salutation. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Hands to your chair. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step, step back, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift and step your left foot forward. Turn the back foot out. Exhale, settle into this, bend the left knee. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold, step back, down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Bend the knee, exhale, turn the left foot out. Inhale, warrior one, reach up. Exhale, step, step, back, back. Walk downward facing dog. Inhale, halfway lift, step left foot forward. And this time, wiggle that back foot back a little and turn it all the way to the side, getting ready for worry two. Now flip that right heel out just a tad so the, left, the right toes turn in a tiny bit. Worry two feet. Bend deeply through your left leg. And we're going to cartwheel. Place your left hand in front of your left knee, directly there. Right arm, get ready, cartwheel it back, and stand up into your warrior two. Inhale your arms to the centre, straighten your top leg, front leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten, bring the hands up. Exhale, surfing, warrior two. Do that one more time. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Stay here. Beautiful. Hands down to your hips. Straighten your front leg. Now, if you need to just step that back foot in a bit, do so. So shorten your stance a little bit. I want you to lift your toes, but keep the pads of your feet on the floor. Lift your toes though. Now, lower your toes. Now, keeping the, both legs straight, 
just shift your left hip over to the right a little. So you'll start to fold your left body, or start to fold over your left thigh. Place your left hand on your chair, draw your left ribs forward, your right ribs back. Keep your right arm behind your back, or if you want to take it up to the sky, here we are in triangle pose. Release that right arm, take it on your hip. Push out through the outside edge of your right leg, squeeze your right buttock, draw your side body up, you're actually shortening your right side body. Arms back out to the side, bend that front leg into that little bit of warrior two again. Inhale here, we're gonna pivot our hands and our back toe to face the front, rest on the chair. And then exhale, step back, back down with facing dog. <sighs> Stay here. Deep breath in. Exhale, draw bottom back even more. Keep drawing your pelvic floor muscles up really, really strong. If I hadn't have prepared you all really well for this and I know that you can handle it all, I wouldn't be doing it without seeing you, but I know, I know you've all got great form. Okay, I believe in your form and I know that you know what you're doing. So even though I can't see you, I trust that you're doing this with awareness inside your body and only doing to what feels right. And I know you're all wise enough to do that. So let's inhale here. And as we inhale, step the right foot forward this time and spin that back foot out to warrior two. Bend that right knee, place your right hand in front of your right knee. Left arm reaches, cartwheels up. Let's find our surfing warrior. Now straighten the leg, turn the palms, bring them up to the ceiling, exhale surf, inhale meet up at the centre, exhale surf, one more time, inhale, exhale surf, every now and again I like to just check my back hand just to see where it is, kind of don't always know where it is. Making sure we're not collapsing into that front leg. Keep opening through the front hip. Now, hands down on your hips, straighten through the front leg, step the back foot in a little. Both legs are straight now. We're preparing for triangle. Shift the right hips over to the left. That'll induce a little side bend here of your right leg. Place the right of your, of your right side body. Place your right hand on your chair, either on your fingertips or put a block on the chair if you need more height. Left arm, maybe behind the back, maybe above your shoulder. Triangle pose. Relax that top hand, place it on your hip, activate the side body, bend into that front knee, and we're going to stand all the way back up, warrior two. Get ready to pivot everything, including that back leg. Really important you don't twist that knee. So spin everything to face the front, hands on the chair. Step back for our last down dog. Maybe. Uh, well, maybe not. I actually think I might just give you a warrior three pose just for an extra balance today. So, in saying that, inhale, look up halfway. Step your right foot forward. Sh begin to shift your weight over. So, you whoopsie, just be careful of these chairs if you've got one like mine. Shift your chest weight forward. Keep your hands back a little. And lift your back leg into your warrior three. If you want to take a little soft bend in that knee, maybe try taking one arm behind you, maybe try taking the other arm behind you. Tuck your chin so that your back of your neck is long. Stay there as long as you wish. My plane's coming into land. I'm going to step back into what looks a bit like a lunge and I'm going to step all the way back to downward facing dog. Stepping back to whatever way you're secure on your feet. The 
Let's do the other side, sitting up for warrior three. Inhale, stepping forward on the opposite side. Bend into that front leg a little, then shift your chest and body weight forward. Let the back leg float up. Maybe taking one arm back. I think I've just done the same leg. Hopefully you're doing the other side. I'm going to do the other side now. Yeah. So both arms maybe out behind you. Only one. That's it. And preparing to come in for landing. Step back, back. Last down dog this time. Inhale, look up, walk, walk to the front, bend the knees, breathe the arms up, squeeze your bottom. <sighs> Exhale your hands to your heart. And release. Taking your chair to the side, I want to release your hips a little. We're going to stand with our feet uh, not too wide, but not too narrow. I'll stand here so you can see me. Um, hands initially on hips and we'll start doing those little figure eights. Now let your hands rest and let your arms kind of flow with this. So bring in your whole spine. Make it fluent and flowing. Starting to explore figure eight. At the moment I'm doing my figure eight, I'm drawing it kind of almost backwards. Then now I'm going to try to draw it the other way. Try to draw it the other way. Imagine your hips are drawing the figure eight. And position your feet however it feels right. I'm just thinking now, I'm kind of pivoting my feet now. Can you play with this a little? Just taking your time, making the movement slow and small. I'm probably going a little fast. Here, I'll slot down a bit. But the sliding and the pivoting feels quite nice. I bet you look beautiful doing it. I can just visualize you doing it. That's it. Okay. So, coming to a pause. Feet about as wide as your mat now on the narrow edge. And we're just simply going to take hands on the hips. And these are circles. Bringing it down now. Body's done an amazing full workout. <laughs> Yoga workout. Go the other way. Beautiful. Bringing it to a pause. Walking your feet a little closer. Take a deep breath. We're going to take it down to the floor, so moving the chair out of your way so that you've got a little bit of space. And we're going to come to lay on our back. I'll turn sideways so that you can see me here. Um, and I'll face this way so you can hear me. Lay all the way. You might want to go down slowly to really strengthen the core on the way down, remember? Keep the feet down. Knees bend, roll and unroll your spine until you're all the way down. Make sure you've got your blankets handy. You might even want your little block or a book if you haven't got a block. And just a reminder, you can always load my gear from the centre if you do want, if you do need blocks and straps. Okay. Hands down beside you, almost close to your heels, heels close to the bottom, feet as wide as your hips. Inhale here, and as you inhale, feel a little arch coming in your lower back, feel your pelvis begin to tip forward. As you exhale, feel a scoop happen in your pelvis and the back flatten. Inhale and arch. Exhale and sink. Inhale and arch. 
the exhale and sit. Inhale and arch. Exhale and sink. Inhale and arch. Exhale and scoop. And this time, as you scoop, begin to push the feet into the floor. Lift the hips, lift the pelvis, uncoil up into a bridge pose. Begin to walk your shoulders underneath you. Maybe your hands stay beside you with the palms down. Maybe you clasp your hands under your bottom. Keep pushing the feet into the floor, squeeze the bottom, draw your thighs in toward the midline. So they're squeezing in toward the midline. Hopefully you don't have a pillow underneath your neck. You need to be flat neck. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders out and we're going to uncoil, roll the vertebra down one by one. Flatten the spine, lift the head and then reposition it. Arms out to your side here, maybe walking the knees a little closer. And we're going to let the knees drop to your left, coming in for a twist. If you do need support here, use a block either either between your knees or underneath the bottom knee. See which way your neck wants to roll. Do you want to roll opposite direction to your knees or does it feel more natural to keep it straight? Okay, everyone, return your knees centre, centre, adjust your hips and pelvis, take a prop to the other side, and very softly, let your knees drop to the other direction, arms anywhere that are comfortable for you. See if you can really let the hips Relax completely. Everyone, slowly release, release. Maybe if you want to just spend 
two minutes with your block under your sacrum. So lift your hips and bottom, slide your block horizontally on the flat edge, place it under your sacrum. Make sure it's not under the lower back. Keeping the knees bent there and your head straight. This can be very, very relieving for your lower back, providing it's on the flat surface. You don't want it too high. You can put too much stress on the ligaments, interosseous ligament around the front of your sacroiliac joints. But in this case, on the flat horizontal side, you've got the ileums involved as well. So you're not putting too much pressure. It's actually relieving. So let your weight relax back into the block. Maybe visualize a softening and a releasing to the inside of that pelvic bowl, the front of your sacrum. Even visualize sending a golden light into those joints and stepping down any pain or aggravation in the lumbar area. Letting the neck and shoulders relax. Any tension just melt away from the jaw. everybody running down through your feet roll your pelvis off lift your hips slide the block out and now let's settle you in for your shavasana so if you need a block a bolster underneath your legs or any blankets over your body a pillow or anything, make sure that you're really, really set up for Shavasana. Softly closing your eyes. And notice the sensations in your body from the amazing work that you have done already. The way that you have enabled energy to flow through your system in a more free way now. Your joints have been opened, your muscles have been worked. And now in the stillness, you get to absorb all of this goodness. You've facilitated that energy exchange by breathing consciously, deeply. The inhalation has brought new nourishment into your system. The exhalation has allowed you to clear any toxins that might be in the system or any energy that you needed to really move from the lungs. You have really facilitated a greater expansion for lung capacity. And now you rest with a calm nervous system and a settled mind. 
find peace in your Shavasana. Connect even deeper with yourself.
Bring your awareness back into your breath. Deep, <clears throat> the deep calming rhythm of your inhalation and your exhalation. Awareness of the pauses in between the breath. Awareness of the peace that you've managed to touch and bring through now into your waking state. Feeling it in your body, in your mind, in your energy field. Beginning to notice the sounds in your environment. And bring your movement back into your hands and feet. Slowly starting to stretch the body a little in a way that feels natural for you. And when you feel ready, rolling yourself off to the side. Give yourself a beautiful hug, there as you lay on your side. Honouring yourself for giving this gift, not only for yourself, but also as a part of the collective piece. Please use your hands now and bring yourself up to centre. Thank you so much for spending this time together practicing. Lots of love to you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Joan. Lots of love. Bye, everybody.